All right, so relative velocity has a formula that is super useful for basically a wide variety of situations. And the formula is V equals V prime plus V frame. And we'll go over what each of those things is. They are all velocities. And the prime here, it doesn't mean the same thing as in calc. Like in calc, prime is often used for a derivative. But that's not actually the meaning in this context. Instead, what uh, prime means is it's a relative velocity of an object moving relative to some frame, some reference frame. All right, so just to give an example, imagine that you're standing on Earth, and then there's a monkey who's in a spaceship who's moving away from you. And just for simplicity's sake, we're going to ignore the revolution and rotation of the Earth. Just assume that it's stationary for now. And it looks like the monkey is traveling at 100 kilometers per second away from Earth. So we want to draw the two reference frames that are involved here because we have two different observers. All right, so the person has his own coordinate system of like X and Y. And that could be called frame S. All right, that's your frame though. So you have your own coordinate system, your own you know, system for measuring distances and all that. But the monkey is gonna have his own frame too. But his frame is moving relative to your frame is the idea. And we'll call his S prime. Now, if you want, you can put like an arrow on that frame to show that it's moving forward relative to the other frame. And both Galileo's and Einstein's idea was that both of these people's perspective well, one's not a person, but uh, both of these observers' perspectives are valid. They're equally valid. So it was believed in the past that just like our X and Y has an origin, that maybe the universe would have an origin too. And people believe that Earth was that origin, like that center of the universe. Uh, but Galileo and Einstein showed you know, that wouldn't really be the case. Uh, so, we can draw Earth's reference frame, and later we can, we can draw the monkey's frame, too. And I'll show the difference of, like, why this is actually a drawing of your frame and not the monkey's frame, because you're at rest in your own frame. And that's what this picture shows, is that the person here is not moving. Anyways... The little green arrow here is what would be known as V-frame. It is the motion of the reference frame relative to the stationary frame S. Now, they say find V-frame. What does that mean? It means give a number and a direction to the velocity of it. So what is the velocity of frame S prime relative to S? It's going to be... whatever the monkey's speed is. And the direction is to the right, so I'm just establishing here that up is the positive y, and to the right is positive x. All right, so, so far, so good. Now it says, assume the monkey has a banana in his front pocket of his spacesuit. Find v prime which is the velocity of the banana relative to the monkey's frame S prime. So the idea here is that 
His frame goes with him wherever he goes. And the banana goes with him wherever he goes too. So is the banana really moving relative to his coordinate system? The answer is no. And so you'd have to say then that V prime here is actually zero. But now we find a different velocity and it's just called V. And this is the velocity of the banana relative to Earth's reference frame S. All right, so we said that the monkey was moving and the banana is moving too relative to you on Earth. And so for that, we would say that V is 100 kilometers per second. I had, it matches the V frame. Okay, let's try the next one then. So, according to Galilean relativity, two observers moving relative to each other in different reference frames will have different perspectives. And this is a drawing of those different perspectives. On the left, we have Earth's reference frame. That's your reference frame, where you're not moving. And the monkey's moving relative to you. But then on the right, we're showing the monkey's reference frame. He thinks that he's stationary and you're moving backwards away from him. And Galileo said that both of these observers' viewpoints were, were valid. And Einstein just like expanded on that quite a bit, using the speed of light as part of his um, calculations and explanation, which we'll get to eventually.